In this video, I'm going to be looking at the new Microsoft Teams Premium add-on license that was announced at Ignite last week and exploring in what situations you might want to start planning for adding it to your subscription. Hello everyone, this is Nick from Bright Ideas Agency. If you find the content of this video useful, please give it a like and make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more content like this in the future. So, as part of your Microsoft 365 subscription, you get Teams for free, right? Well, that continues to be the case. But over the last few years, Microsoft has offered a selection of different add-on packages that you've been able to add on to Teams to add some additional features at additional cost. And the latest one of these that was announced at Ignite last week is called Microsoft Teams Premium. It's going to cost you $10 per user per month and it adds a selection of different features that I'm going to run through in this video that we can really break down into four broad categories. Manage your meeting participation with AI. So did you know that according to Microsoft's 2022 Work Trends Index, our attendance at meetings has increased over 150% since March 2020? So with more meetings about the work, there may be less time to do the work. This is where AI tools built into Teams Premium might start to help. Intelligent Recap uses AI during the meeting and afterwards in associating with your meeting recording to surface content relevant to you, like action items that you need to follow up on. The meeting recording is more usable as important points like screen sharing a surface so you can easily get to the content that you need to review or share more easily. And AI can even recognize when your name is mentioned and highlight that section. Microsoft describes this technology as like having a virtual assistant in each of your meetings. But it also highlights that it creates the capability that you might skip meetings altogether. So I'm not sure that this is the best solution to the marching growth of meetings, but it certainly is one. In addition, for those who are working in groups where different languages are spoken, real-time translation is now an option. This makes meetings more inclusive than ever and potentially offers real advantages for teams to make broader collaboration more achievable. Better safeguard your content. If you need to share confidential information in a meeting, it can feel very different to do this in a virtual or a hybrid meeting than if you're doing it in person where you can see everyone and you can understand who's recording what and who can overhear what's being said. But now Teams Premium starts to add some features that can help you safeguard your information a little better. One such feature is to watermark your video feeds and shared content with the user information of the person who's receiving it which makes it harder, but certainly not impossible for them to share it. For some businesses, features like this are going to be very useful, if not essential. But we should probably use them sparingly, because there is a fear that we could run into company culture problems, where those who are attending meetings virtually in hybrid environments could feel like second-class, untrusted team members. Truly confidential or proprietary information needs to be protected and features like this can certainly help, but it's important that we put in place the correct guardrails that stop the misuse of features like this to hide bad work practices, keeping them veiled in secrecy. Develop richer customer connections virtually. Through better integration with Microsoft Bookings and a broader set of features for Teams webinars, you gain additional options for interacting with your customers virtually, either one-on-one -on -one or in groups of up to a thousand. With webinars, you gain more features to manage the presenter and attendee experience. You can better control what your attendees see on screen to keep them focused. And you gain additional registration features, such as a waitlist and pre-event email reminders. With bookings, you gain more control over the pre-appointment experience more capability to brand the online meeting environment, and customers can now join your virtual appointments seamlessly from their mobile device. You also get enhanced reporting and analytics to better understand your engagement. Better fit the meeting experience into your business. Elsewhere during Ignite, 
we learned about Microsoft's focus on the place-connected experience with Microsoft Places. While focusing on making in-person and hybrid work experiences function better, Teams Premium offers comparable focus on making virtual engagement and the virtual component of hybrid engagement more tailored for your organization as well. With new branding options, you can customize the meeting experience to your organization, including logos and backgrounds for the team's lobby, organizational custom backgrounds, and custom scenes for together mode. Take a photo of where you hold in-person all hands meetings and make it a custom together mode scene. It's not quite bringing your organization into the metaverse, but it'll certainly make your remote workers feel more part of your physical workplace. Meeting guides are a new type of template that will help people to select the right settings and right setup for their meeting so that it's easier to get everything set correctly for your particular environment at the time that you're creating that meeting. So who is this for? If you already use Teams internally and you opt to use a third party software like Zoom for your virtual customer connections, then the additional features for virtual appointments and webinars may make this something you want to look at. Compared with Zoom Pro and Zoom webinars, this isn't exactly feature parity, but you'll be spending between $2.50 and $60 less per user per month to roll in that Teams premium license versus keeping both a basic Teams and premium Zoom license. Similar savings are available across a range of different Teams competitors. So if Teams Premium gives you what you need for your customer connections, those savings will add up fast, even for the most well-resourced IT departments. The AI functions might be of interest to executives or those with a lot of meetings, and particularly those who currently rely upon administrative help to manage that meeting participation and follow-up. However, we should remember that AI doesn't participate on your behalf, and if a lot of your meetings are simply for you to gather information and actions, rather than add value through participation, then maybe some of those meetings could be replaced altogether with other types of communication, like asynchronous Teams channels. That said, I'm someone who finds it difficult to listen, contribute, and take comprehensive notes in meetings all at the same time. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Certain organizations will jump on this immediately because of the added security features, and that alone will be worth the additional monthly cost because of the types of information they are sharing and the risk associated with that content. Lastly, for those organizations that are redesigning themselves to permanently embrace hybrid work, the new features that are available in terms of Teams customization may be worth it for, for them to bring their physical workspace into the hybrid or virtual world. However, I think a lot of that is gonna depend on how meeting guides actually work and I'm eager to play around with that um, when these features are released. I think in many ways, this is a fairly odd mix of features. As many Microsoft add-on licenses are fairly laser focused on adding features that apply to a particular use case. I think there are probably few organizations out there that are going to see the value in all or even most of these features, um, but, it's likely that you're gonna buy this add-on because one or two of the features are truly differentiators for your particular needs um, as you've been using Teams up till now. So let's talk about availability and cost. So this was announced as a $10 per user per month add-on license. But the question always arises with Teams as to who exactly needs the license. If you look at something like the audio conferencing add-on, for example, the person who sets up the meeting needs to have that add-on license, and then anyone in the meeting can dial in using that information, whether they have an audio conference license or not. And I think it makes sense that certain of these features are going to apply at the organizer level, things like watermarking, for example, um, that will most likely apply to the organizer. But things like the AI features, um, translation, for example, it seems more likely that each individual who is using that feature is going to need their own add-on license in order to do so. It's gonna make a big difference to organizations as to whether a group of meeting organizers need to be licensed with this or whether everyone needs to be licensed with it to um, to enjoy those features. 
In terms of availability timelines, well, we're expecting that this will enter public preview in December with general availability starting in February 2023, but with some of the AI features coming later in 2023. Um, so I think we could expect this to be uh, phased in and probably not everything is going to be available day one um, when it's first released. But overall, there's a lot of features here that I'm excited to at least try out. And I think there's likely to be at least $10 worth of value here for a lot of organizations um, with different needs for Teams. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. And if you like content like this, then please do subscribe. And if you have any projects that you're working on where you need some help with your digital transformation, um, with Teams, with uh, Microsoft Power Platform, or Microsoft 365, um, then please do consider reaching out to me. This is the work the Bright Ideas Agency does, um, and I'm very happy to help any small business um, with their digital transformation work. Until next time, bye-bye.